1987 club car. Now on the club car 1987 up until 95 or 6 somewhere, the engine, if you're looking at it from the clutch side, if you're looking at the primary clutch, the engine would turn counterclockwise. And notice how it ramps up on the button on this side on the left. Now this is the clutch I just bought. If you notice, the ramp is on the right side of the button. Because 97 and up turns clockwise. Okay? But everybody says it's the same clutch, so we're going to find out. What I'm going to do is take, compress this one, take the snap ring out, and take this off. And I'm going to see if I can put this spring in there and clock it the right way. And if I can, then I'm going to put my old spring in here. Right. If not, I bought this. It's a power spring. There's no locating tabs, no piece of spring bent up. This one has a lot more spring pressure, but it can go in a clutch, and the clutch, as long as you clock it right onto the buttons there with the ramps, um, you can run it in either direction. This will keep you in a lower gear for longer. They say it's great for running bigger tires. I'm just stock. Now I use 7 16 all thread. You could use 3 8 And this is just a piece of aluminum that I have with a hole in it. You could just use a big washer. This is a 2 inch PVC cap. Schedule 40. And all I did was cut the side out of it and drill the hole in it. Put the all thread. And you can use this to squeeze it together. And get your... Um, clip out of there. Now in the other video I used a press but I just figured this not everybody might not have a press and all this is stuff you can buy out of the hardware store. So let's go ahead and get this taken apart and this one taken apart and see if the spring will fit. I got this on here and I'm just going to take a wrench and tighten this down. You could use power tools or whatever you wanted to. Now you only got to compress this that much. All I had to do is take the pressure off of that snap ring. All right. Then we're gonna take the snap ring right out of there. I hope so. This set of snap ring pliers is almost not big enough. Okay, I got it. Now, same as whenever you go to put this back, make sure you have that snap ring in there. But now we should be able to take this and just loosen this up gently. And this should come right apart. I would make this rod, this center all thread, I would try to at least make it a foot long. Okay, this new clutch comes from a company called Vivor. I think their kind of their thing was out in California or something. Um, this was only $63 for this clutch. Like I say, it's for 97 and up. Now see, these are basically the same spring, except for, see, it's the spiral wound completely opposite. This one goes this way, and this one. So you should be able to put this clutch spring in. Okay, putting the old spring in. I marked it right here in the middle notch is where the original one come from. Now, if you, I say, if you go to this bottom one, if you turn this, old spring counterclockwise the last notch be on the left looking straight down on it and if you line all this back up with this spring right in the middle one by the time you get that down you'd be about right yeah see you just have a little bit of tension on there 
So I got a debate where do I want to put this spring in or I just want to go ahead and put this power spring in and see what happens. See how tight this looks like it would be. Vivor is who the clutch come from. You know what? Let's just do the power spring. Okay. I'm going to put this up through the bottom. I don't get it all ready. And I just want to do the power spring. See what happens. I've never tried one, so. If you're doing it on a press, you might not have to. But a good time to put your snap ring on there. Now what I've been doing is tightening up a little bit on it. And then just tap little bit and it seems to be going I don't know why it seems like this is so hard to get on and off that shaft now we gotta start watching because the shaft is coming through there so we just need enough to put the snap ring on and that should be plenty now I'll get the snap ring in here This is where you want to make sure you remember that snap ring so you don't get to this point and realize you don't have it on there. Like I say, this clutch came from Beaver. B-E-V-O-R. And, um, I don't know, that seems okay from what I can see so far. Okay. Now I got that in there. My keyway's in the back, and I got this facing just about opposite of the keyway. Maybe not quite, but you want that on the back side. Now we should be able to just leave this tension off of this thing. If you had this rod in a vise or something, it would be better. Easier. Now, like I say, I don't run this for a little bit. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe sometime we'll put this other spring back in just to see what the difference in the power spring and the regular spring is. But you could run your regular spring, it looks like, with this clutch. Now, in this pulley here, like on this one here, it has play in it. That new one had a little bit of play also. So I don't know how much play is, is bad. But this one here should be ready to go now. Once that works, it should suck that right down on. We're on the left side of the pin. Was on this this mark was over here before. You gotta make sure you get that on the right side before you close that up. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna coat this with never seize. I don't coat the shaft with never seize. I don't put this on and the nut and the bolt, I mean the bolt and the washer. And I think it said 14 foot pounds we're gonna torque it to. So it looks like to me, now remember, once you start taking somebody else where you bought this, they do have a warranty and stuff. But once you start taking this apart and changing parts, you, you know, to me, you're on your own. But you can, it looks like you can take the stock spring out of the 97 and up clutch. And if you spin that around one or so, you could clock this. I was thinking I might have to drill holes or something, but I don't think you would. I think you could put the stock spring in the $63 clutch from Beaver. Okay, the torque wrench. This is your primary clutch. Over top of it was the only place I could see. And over here, I could lay here and I could hold this pulley. And I got it to 14 foot pounds. That's the spec I saw. You have to verify that for yourself. But it's on there and tight. I got to take the torque wrench off, slide the belt on. And we'll, maybe we'll take it for a ride before we put the rest of it together. Or no, we'll go ahead and put this in because you got to take the wheel back off. In this primary hub here, make sure that center bearing spins. Now, that's the old belt. Is it too loose? I don't know. We'll find out soon. Let me put this in service mode. Okay, now the wheels won't turn. 